Last week, I showed you this thing, the wood slicer powered from the giant wheel. It slices wood. Of course, it's not connected to the engine yet, so it's not very fast. But before I take it outside to the engine, I wanted to see if I could adapt it for grinding charcoal. So, I put some charcoal in and turned the wheel to see what would happen. You can see now why I went for the full width of the blade when I made this wood slicer. I had this charcoal thing in mind all along, of course. Lots of the charcoal just fell through the throat. But anything that was too big was cut up easily by the blade because, of course, charcoal is brittle and easily broken. If this blade can cut through hardwood logs, then it can easily cope with charcoal. It was quite slow and what it produced was obviously very coarse. But, as I'd hoped, it wasn't difficult to improve things. First, I bent a new plate on my homemade bender. This is two millimeter thick steel plate. It just drops in over the existing bed. And that closes up the throat and makes the cut shallower too. So it should make finer ground charcoal. Let's give it a go. This charcoal will be added to the soil and maybe it's still on the coarse side but I think I'll trial it in the beds at this size before I change anything. If I did want to go smaller it would just mean adding um, a bit of packing underneath that new bed so it shouldn't be difficult. Right then, so far so good but can we speed it up a little or speed it up a lot ideally. Again, easily done. I just made up this grid that drops into the main frame. I did find though that it would rise up without the bungee straps on it. But when they are on, it seems to work fine. Basically, that grid has just added two more end plates for the charcoal to get trapped against. So now one stroke of the blade should cut three times. Once, twice, three times. This is how the charcoal comes out of the kiln, still wet from the quenching. The challenge was always to grind this up without it getting stuck in the grinder and without it turning to a powdery sludge. Lots of people have suggested different grinder types for me to make. Ball mills and jaw crushers and strimmer blades and cone mills. But I'm going to guess that none of those would work as well as this one does. You're allowed to disagree, it's okay. <laughs> The charcoal doesn't turn to powder. It doesn't start bridging or getting clogged up. It just falls through the bottom in a much smaller size, which is good. But it is still a bit slow. Of course, this is just me turning the wheel by hand. If I can connect it to the engine, then it would run much faster. How much faster, Tim? Well, this much faster. I just speeded up the video clip till it's stroked every second. 60 RPM. Now that's a lot more like it.
And of course, if I come to increase the stroke length of the blade, so it travels further each time, I could put more stop ends in there and that would increase the rate again. So I am quite excited about this now. That's the last key component of my charcoal making process. Still a long way to go though. Can't wait to see the wheels set up outside. Now today, Will and I laid the concrete slab out in the engine shed ready for it. So I hope next time to show you the wheel in its new home. Woohoo!